juniors <laughs> it's just there's something magical about gibson b90 guitars in general by to me the most consistent gibson ever has been the junior and it's a guitar that like i don't know why it's not like listed in that holy grail of guitars you need to have in your arsenal but to me like no guitar arsenal is complete without a special or a junior. Now me, I'm full blown like grip it and rip it kind of guy. But you know, the one pickup thing to me is like, pff, I mean, I don't need anything else. I mean, listen to this. <laughs> If you're the Malcolm Young in your band, or you're just like that guy like, hey, I wanna be a complete freaking wild maniac out on stage and I don't wanna have to think about a thing, I wanna plug straight into an amp and I wanna know that this freaking guitar is going to rock people's worlds, look no further. <laughs> this is your friend. Okay, so this guitar, full disclosure, was sent to me by Sweetwater. I was on my way to buying one anyways and i have this great working relationship with them they're like let us just send you one and i said okay but if i don't like the guitar i do not have to do a demo on it i'm going to send it back so that's always my deal with everyone if i don't like what they send me i won't even do a demo on it this guitar showed up and i was like actually they sent it to the guy that does all my guitar work and the sound for my youtube videos sent it to him and he's like, bro, this guitar sounds so freaking good. And I was like, really, really? He played it on the phone. I was like, yes. But like I said, to me, juniors are just that guitar. They always sound good. Now, okay, <laughs> one slight detour, full disclosure. I did change the pickup, not because the Gibson pickup didn't sound good. It was like ridiculously tough decision to make. I did three pickups. I tested the original pickup. I tested a Lowler 50s style P90 and a normal Lowler P90. I'm a giant Lowler fan. They're in every one of my guitars. So the only reason I went with the Lowler 50s pickup was because it was a little lower output and a little bit stringier. I'm gonna leave sound examples of all three pickups. You cannot go wrong with any of those pickups. They all sounded fantastic. And that in part is because the guitar is just such a great guitar anyways. I think you could stick like a gum wrapper in this thing and it would sound great. But I just went for the one because, listen to this, watch. When I ring through this chord. <laughs> You can hear all the strings. And the other thing, the really great thing I really loved about this pickup is there's so much play. I mean, that's like, that could be like an strummy acoustic, right? Right, so that's at like four, then I can roll it up to like, you know, six and a half. Like you're getting into that verse, it's building a little bit. And if you pick lightly, it gets a really clean sound, but Turn down, this is at about six and a half. If I start digging into it a little bit harder with my pick. 
it starts reacting more, right? And so as I go up, right in the chorus. Now, the cool thing about it is this is totally enough. It's totally enough, you know, uh, even though it's a low output pickup, it's still totally enough to be I plugging straight in. That's what I've been doing lately with this guitar, straight into the amp. High input, low input, they both sound fantastic. I'm gonna go into two different amps. This is a divided by 13 RSA 23, which you're hearing right now. Kind of floats that line of like Tweed Bassman, Marshall Vox, if they all had a child together. It's that. Now the cool thing about what you can do too is, you know, if you go into low input, reacts really well that a lot of times when I record with this guitar I put it into the low input and it just sounds good with any amp I'll plug it into this divided by 13 CJ 11 which is kind of like a tweed deluxe here in a second just amazing by the way this is going through my aux both of the amps are going through an aux this one has the 412 punch cab on it I know everybody always asks me so 412 punch cab 57 and a 160 for the mics um, and then this one's going to go into their the 112 i think it's called the dx or black dx cab or something it's like a 112 combo sounding cab kind of appropriate since that's supposed to be a tweed deluxe style amp okay so if i went over into more gain territory <laughs> So the lead tone is just ridiculous on these things too. So that's one of the things I really appreciated about it is no matter what you plug it into, it sounds great. Any amp format, Vox, Fender, I've tried it all. It sounds incredible. It's like the perfect bridge between a Telecaster and a Les Paul. The Les Paul is a little bit too thick for you or something like that, you know, and you're just like, yeah, I like it, but nah. And then a Telecaster is like, if it was just a little bit more Junior is your friend, right? And so it's that perfect line. Now, if I went to a different amp, again, this is gonna be more like a Tweed Deluxe kind of a vibe. I got a video coming up here pretty soon with three different Marshalls in this guitar. God. You're gonna realize it's like, oh, that's what that sound was I loved as a child because man, Juniors just have a thing like Southern Rock, modern Southern Rock, if you like, like Blackberry Smoke, stuff like that, Juniors. Um, Humble Pie, there's just On a Mountain, you know that song, um, uh, God, Mississippi Queen, Junior, right? So there's so many good sounds from, you know, what you would recognize throughout history that have been on a Junior, and a lot of people think they're Les Pauls, and it's like, no, it's P90 because they're the best. Okay, so, again, this is perfect for that kind of like petty vibe.
It's the string definition. Right? Now, there's a ton of different variations, like if you start messing with the tones, you can almost get kind of like a middle pickup kind of sound. Back down the volume. So that's with the tone on about six. Totally usable tone. All right, back up. Guitar volumes on like eight. But if you wanted like, you know, just freaking nasty. It's a great, like, just straight in. Right, so just because it has one pickup, don't think it's not a versatile guitar. They're fantastic. It's one of those guitars I had as a kid, I had a special and a junior, and I was like, you know, back in the day when I wanted a vintage Marshall, so I sold both of them like a complete freaking moron. <laughs> but I had the ch the cheaper versions back then, and I've played the ones that's like, I don't know how much they are now, that I think they're like 1,500 or 1,000, 1,500, somewhere in there. They're fantastic. So if you can't afford, I mean, these are not cheap, so if you can't afford one of these, one of the customs, the regular, just off the shelf one that you can buy at Sweetwater or wherever the music store near you is, they sound really, really good. So don't think that you have to have the higher end ones. They sound great. And if you want the one that sounds exactly like this and you can't afford it, then buy the cheaper one and get the same pickup, you know, if that's what works for you. Like I said, the pickup that comes in them is really fantastic. So make sure you check out at the end I'll put all of the different pickups that we tried with this one. Again, I just went with this one because I'm a huge fan of lower output pickups. And this one, the lower output one that I went with, the Lowler 50s one, it's just a little stringier and more open sounding. And I already had enough of guitars that kind of have that just girth to them, right? And that punch. So this was just like, I wanna be able to strum through a chord, hear every single note really open and I wanted to float the line between this and a Telecaster, and it just ended up being perfect. So thank you so much for your continued support. I'll leave the link to this guitar down in the description box. Also on my Sweetwater pages, most all of the gear I use in here, so if you're interested in the gear I use, there is a way to support the channel. I do make a little bit of a cut, but you know, I make most of my money from brettpapa.com, and that is where I teach you how to become a better guitar player fast with lessons that are simple, and we try to make it fun over there. Lots of instruction there for you. There's Cage stuff, Hendrix stuff, soloing stuff. If you wanna get better at you know, mixing major and minor pentatonic or how to resolve chord tones, all that kind of stuff, 
all that stuff is down there. And then also there's a bunch of guest instructors there as well. So if you're at that like solid intermediate and want to go full pro, I bring in a bunch of other guitar players that will really take you to that next level as well. So thank you for your continued support. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell to be notified when the new videos come out. You guys are amazing. I'll catch you next time.